What we're about to explore right now is how we can help creating a sustainable world by developing ourselves. And it's a powerful way of working. So the inner development goals is a relatively new concept. It came out quite recently, actually. And I remember when I first saw it, I was so happy because I really felt that this brings together a lot of what I believe in and what I know is important. It's about how we can develop as human beings, how we better can understand ourselves and each other, and how we can work together to drive change to actually enable and create a sustainable future. So the way I will share with this with you will be a bit personal because if you compare this topic to other maybe more theoretical ones, this is personal. This is something that goes within. So that's why I will introduce it in a personal way as well. So I will start uh, by giving you an example to relate to, and that is just a glimpse of my own inner development journey so far. After that, we will look at driving change from within, which is the context in which the inner development goals will be applied. Then, of course, we will dive into the actual framework. And you will see the components and learn how you can work with this in different ways. And of course, I will also give you some suggested next steps. So if you want to work with this, what can you do? Where can you start? Where can you find information? But first, Let's make sure that we are present, because I can reveal to you that that is one of the skills included here. So I don't know how your day has started, but just take some conscious breaths. Make sure that you are focused, that you are here, and open with heart and mind. Thank you very much. I don't have you here in the room with me physically, but what does inner development mean to you? I'm sure that can look very different. Maybe some of you has actually worked with this quite some time and has started a journey on your own, and maybe you have come quite far, or maybe you haven't really reflected on this, but you're curious and you're feeling that, hmm, maybe it's something there that I, that I want to explore. Because I think this is a journey that all of us has in a very individual way. And then it's up to us in life if we choose to take it. So what does it look like for me? Well, like I said, I wanted to be a bit personal to give you something to relate to. And I started working quite deep and dedicated with this about 10 years ago. And what I came from was actually quite a lot of outer focus. I was quite performance driven. I have a Master of Science in Mechanical Engineering. I was, you know, uh, really high performing. I defined myself quite a lot by how others viewed me and my work. And I felt a lot of stress and pressure, um, but I didn't really know how to navigate it. I was caught up in the high speed we have in our society. And well, I, I enjoyed it, but I wasn't really connected with myself. And maybe that's also why it didn't really last in the longer run, because my body actually crashed for a while. So I came into a, um, an illness that, uh, now uh, I've managed to turn that one around, so I'm doing well today. But it was probably the best thing that could have happened to me because it gave me a wake-up call. And it helped me to realize that I needed to make a change. I needed to do something different. So I started working with an amazing coach and mentor, Karin Boucher, that I'm working with today as well. And she helped me to realize my behaviors to look at this and to make changes. And I learned how to take full personal responsibility for me and what's mine, my own actions, etc., and also let others take full responsibility for them and what's theirs. And that is a so important lesson in life, and it changes quite a lot. 
And in this teen 10 years, a lot of things have happened. And I have to say that this is the most inspiring and fascinating journey that I've ever been on. So if you haven't started working with inner development yet, you're in it for something amazing. Because what, where I am today, first of all, I feel that I have much more of an inner focus. So I feel a much stronger connection to myself, my body, my senses, my intuition. And then I also feel more connected to the world around me, to nature, to other people. And I have learned how to be neutral with empathy, meaning that even when there is a lot of drama around me, I can observe it, I know it's happening, but I can choose not to engage with it. So I don't need to be caught up and drained with energy and so on. I can be neutral with empathy, of course still caring, still being able to, to help, but I don't compromise on my own energy, which is then linked to a kind of a personal sustainability, finding a way that is actually possible to sustain over time. So I think that today I have a much better way of just living my life, making sure that I can take care of myself and I can still perform really, really well, but from the right kind of angle. And I can say this is a lifelong journey. I realize that I've started, I've come yeah, relatively far on my way, but I have so much more to learn and to de develop. So that is exciting, and I look forward to seeing where this will take me. So I can say that inner development is powerful, it's interesting, and it does make a difference. That's why I'm really happy to be here to, to share this with you. And when putting the inner development goals into a context, to me, this is about driving change from within. And I've been working in the private sector for Tetra Pak, having a lot of different change leadership roles, and also at the United Nations that Rebecca mentioned earlier. And I have learned many different tools and tricks on how to drive change. But I think that the most powerful aspect is when we can do this from ourselves, from our core. And there are a few things that I just want to share with you that I bring with me here. The first one is, of course, why do we change in the first place? What is the why? I think it's important to feel why we need to change. So in my example that I just shared, I had an illness coming in saying that, well, you know, this is not going to work anymore. You need to do something different. And that can, of course, vary what your why is. But I think it's important to be anchored in a why. Then realize that we can drive change because we really can. Also that my decisions and actions, they matter. So I need to take responsibility for them. The small ones and the big ones, it has an impact on life in general. And also, I think it's important to aim for a wonderful vision, something that makes us feel passion and inspiration so that we really want to go to that other state, whatever that may be. So if we look at this and then we think about sustainability, because I think that's why we're all here, what we have in common, I assume, is that we're all here to find ways to create a world that is worth living in, where we can feel good. And talking about the why, I will not 